Looking to become an athletic freak and finally throw some impressive weight overhead? Here are three exercises guaranteed to blow up your push press. What's up guys, Alec Ankiri here and today we're going to talk about building a massive push press. Now the push press is absolutely not just a cheated overhead press as some people have ignorantly claimed in the past. People often cheat with leg drive, robbing them of results. And it's probably my all time favorite overhead movement because it combines aspects of lower body explosive training into upper body strength training. It teaches you how to tie the whole body together using the entire system as a symbiotic unit and building some pretty cool physical attributes in the process. Plus, it's always just plain badass to throw people's max squat over your head. So if you're interested in learning more about the technical aspects of the push press or take a deeper dive into the little known benefits of this awesome but often misunderstood movement, then check out some of the videos that I've done in the past I've got them linked below in the description talking all about the awesome benefits of the push press. And without further ado, let's jump into three exercises guaranteed to blow up your push press. Hey guys, if you made it this far, if you could do me a favor and smash that like button and leave me a friendly comment down below before you go, I would really, really appreciate it. The engagement is really helpful for my channel. So the more engagement that we can get, the more free informative content, just like this video that I can pump out for you guys. Thanks a lot and enjoy the rest of the video. Exercise number one is none other than the front squat, my favorite type of squat. Now I know Dr. Mike wants you to hate the front squat for some reason and thinks that front squats somehow don't carry over into strongman style training or strongman style overhead work, things like the push press, which is a laughable assertion, but I digress. The front squat is probably one of the most valuable movements that any athlete or general fitness enthusiast can take the time and effort to get good at. When you do take that time and effort, the reward that you get in return is pretty freaking massive. The front squat not only ensures that we build adequate thoracic mobility and lat mobility, which is going to help dramatically with achieving good overhead positioning but it also builds in men's leg strength as well as upper back strength specific to the front rack position. And when you add all these aspects together, this means that the front squat is actually probably the single best assistance movement that one can do in order to increase their push press, at least initially. If all you did right off the bat was take the time to add 100 pounds to your front squat, then your push press would probably go up by half that much in, exact, in the exact same time frame without even push pressing it all. The gains that you get from front squatting are just so specific to the requirements for getting big weight overhead in this fashion bolstering strength in that front rack position, dramatically increasing upper back strength, which is going to give you a much more stable base to press big weights overhead from, and dramatically increasing leg strength as well, which is going to give you the potential for a more powerful leg drive to heave that bar off of your shoulders, add all that stuff together, and you get a massive push press, and you get all of these benefits from the front squat. So first and foremost, do your damn front squats. If you want to be cool, if you want to be badass, if you want strong legs, and especially if you want a big push press. And exercise number two is, of course, the strict press. Now, the push press is a pretty happy marriage between leg power and upper body pressing strength. Depending on the athlete's strength and weaknesses, you're gonna get some dominance leaning more one way or the other. I am personally lower body dominant in my push presses. I rely heavily on my strong and powerful legs to get that bar overhead, but I have clients who are upper body dominant in theirs. They're less reliant on their leg drive and more reliant on their strong ass shoulders and triceps. But what this means it can go one way or the other, right? So what this means is that we need to focus on both of those aspects to maximize our long-term push pressing prowess. So we use the front squat to focus on that leg aspect. We use the strict press to focus on the upper body strength aspect. 
Because if you have super strong legs, but then super weak shoulders, you probably aren't going to be heaving 300 plus pounds overhead in the fashion of a push press anytime soon because the press out strength requirements from the delts and triceps are actually pretty high when it comes to push pressing and they only become bigger and bigger and more pronounced the bigger and stronger that your push press gets. So using strict press variations as assistance to your push press is going to ensure that your shoulders and triceps are strong enough to handle taking over the weight during that transitional period overhead when the leg drive begins to run out and the upper body has to finish the press overhead. A variety of different types of strict press work is going to be your best bet here. So I personally favor behind the neck press variations these days, but I also love strict pressing off of pins. Regular strict overhead presses are also great, as are seated and Z press variations. I also enjoy AD presses where you're seated and you're using torso support. And I even enjoy pressing strictly overhead with other implements as well, such as the Swiss bar, which allows you to use a neutral grip, or the Buffalo bar, which allows you to achieve a greater range of motion. But the point is, if you want a big push press, then you need to strict press overhead often and in different varieties with a focus on getting more weight on the bar over time in order to build yourself some big, strong shoulders. And finally, exercise number three, the final assistance movement that's going to help you build a massive and impressive push press is none other than the jerk. Straight from the halls of Olympic weightlifting, this is probably the most esoteric movement of the bunch that I've mentioned today, but it is very, very helpful. I love doing jerks. They're awesome. They're athletic. They build strength. They build power, and they help you get heavy freaking weights overhead, and they help you become comfortable in that aspect as well. So just a brief refresher for those who don't know, but there are three primary ways to get a barbell overhead, right? In order of weakest to strongest, they go the strict overhead press, which is where your legs are locked and you press the bar overhead using nothing but the strength of your upper body pressing muscles. Then we have the push press, the focus of our video today. This is where you use a powerful leg drive to heave the bar off your shoulders, but then you finish the press overhead using the strength of your upper body pressing muscles. And then finally, we have the jerk. The jerk is where you heave the bar off the shoulders using a powerful leg drive, but then instead of pressing it out overhead using the upper body, you actually push yourself underneath of the barbell in order to receive it at arm's length overhead, and then you recover back to a single plane by standing up with the legs. And once you become proficient at it, the jerk is by far the strongest way to get big weights overhead. It also basically completely removes the upper body from the overhead press equation in terms of dynamic work performed. There's still a lot of a large stability component involved there. It still involves a lot of shoulder strength to hold heavy weights overhead, but the upper body does not have to do any dynamic work to get the bar there. It's all legs and athletic athleticism at this point. So now, personally, at my best, I've jerked 320 pounds and I have push pressed 275 pounds. This means that my jerk is nearly 20% stronger than my push press. And this is significant because it means that the jerk is essentially overloading the dip and drive pattern as compared to the push press. And anecdotally, I can say that when my jerk is strong, my push press is also very strong simply by default, even if I haven't really been doing much push pressing at all. So when you get good at jerks, your legs will get more comfortable lowering against and exploding into heavier weights just because that's the nature of being good at the jerk. And this is going to carry over into a stronger and more explosive dip and drive during a push press, which by default requires lighter weights than a jerk. Further, as you become a better jerker, your front rack strength will also improve dramatically, which means that you're less likely to experience positional losses or bar path aberrations during your heavy push presses. So becoming a good jerker is a great way to drive your push press up into the stratosphere. In fact, 
Most Olympic weightlifters never do strict overhead presses at all. They simply do a lot of front squats and a lot of jerks, and many of them have very impressive push presses, mostly as a side effect of that work. So start jerking it, people. So there you go, guys. Three exercises that are going to help you go against the grain of the lamestream modern fitness industry as dominated by its enhanced bodybuilder ideology. Include these three movements in your training frequently, master them, get strong at them, and you will be rewarded with greater strength, greater fitness, and greater athleticism than the vast majority of trainees that you see in the gym and the vast majority of people that you come across on the street, and you will have a massive push press to go along with it. You will be an expert. You will be strong as hell at throwing big weights over your head. So now let's freaking get to it and let's start throwing people's max squats over our heads. That's all I got, guys. Please remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel, leave me some love in the comments down below. And if you're interested in training like me, then check out on CareerEliteFitness.com for online coaching and training programs. Keep training hard and I will catch you guys next time.